Hey everybody, Terry White here, and I'm excited to share with you nine reasons, nine reasons, why you should check out the brand new Adobe Express Beta. Let's get started. All right, so reason number one, the interface and engine has been completely redesigned and rebuilt from scratch. So you get your various categories up here at the top to, to check, check out and go between. So if you weren't doing something for social media, you get all the popular social media sizes and formats ready to go. And no matter which one you pick, you can either create from scratch or you can browse from thousands of templates to use. That's great. So if you're a designer, you want to create your own, great. If you're not a designer, you want to use a professionally done template, awesome. So that pretty much is the way we've always done Express. People always ask too, can you do your own custom sizes? And yes, you can. You can have your own custom size as well. But that's not what we're starting with. We're actually going to start with number one, which is my new favorite. And that is the ability to start with your own PDF. For example, let's say you did a layout in InDesign, you convert it to a PDF, you want to import that as a template, you can. Your own native Photoshop file with all the layers and your own native Illustrator file with all the layers. So if you have designed your own flyer, content, brochure, whatever, you can start directly with that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to click start from design here. I've got a flyer that I did as a native PSD for a 4th of July beach party. Let's go ahead and open that up. As you can see, we get a little preview of what that's going to look like. It's also doing a conversion as it uploaded. And then once it's done converting, I can go ahead and open that up as an express document just by clicking open an editor. So I get everything here, all the layers, and I see a couple little tweaks I need to make. So first of all, it is a beta, <laughs> so we're still working on it. So that little swiggle should be up a little bit. And I notice my 7 p.m should be all on one line. Okay, great. Those are the only changes that need to be made from the original template, but now it's express. I can do whatever I want. So for example, if I can say, well, the time change is now 8 p.m. instead of 7 p.m. And the entry is free. It is a beach party, but I can say that it's going to be um, at the, uh, I don't know, Atlanta beach. We don't have a beach in Atlanta, but we're gonna, we're gonna pretend we do. Heffy Atlanta Beach, there we go. And I'm even typing sideways. There's a URL fill here. I can type in my URL. You get the idea. Any of these can be changed. I can move around the graphics. I can do whatever I want. This is all now in Express, even though it came from Photoshop. So that is number one, import your native content. Number two, and that is I want to change this background. So I want to change this background using something brand new. I want to go over to media. And you guessed it, I want to go to photos and there is the brand new text to image using our Firefly engine, our generative AI has made its way into Adobe Express. So I'm going to go ahead and click text to image and I'm going to go ahead and do uh, portrait size. That will give me this, this feel, this frame. I can move it around. I can get it in place ahead of time. I can scale it up. I can do whatever I want because then I can go in and put in my description. Before I put my description in or after, I can choose what type of graphic it's going to be and any of the styles or effects. So let's see, I think I got something on the clipboard here. I do, so we're just gonna go ahead and paste that in. Summer beach with balloons and confetti. That's my prompt, <laughs> the prompt that I'm going to use. And then I just click generate. And just like on the Firefly website, I'm gonna get four options to start with. And if I want more, I can just click load more if I don't like any of those four. Boom, there they are. These are looking pretty cool. I kind of like the balloons off to the side on that one. I like the balloons off to the side on that one. I like the scattered effect on this one. And again, if I want more, I can just click load more and it will keep these four and give me four new ones. But I think I'm gonna go with this one. And now that I got this one in place, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move it in place. First of all, you remember we have um, the original background, which is that gradient. So I'm gonna move it all the way under that gradient. So it's on the bottom. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, click the gradient and delete it because I don't need it anymore. I have my new one. Now, two things we're gonna do to this new one. We're gonna make it a little less busy by adding an adjustment. That's right, I can adjust it after the fact. We're gonna blur it out a little bit just so it gives our text more focus. And you can still see that it's a beach in the background. And last but not least, I'm going to do one important thing. I'm going to set it as a page background. That way, when I do the next thing we're about to see, you'll see why that's important. 
All right, so set as page background. So number one, import your native content. Number two, use generative AI right in Express. Number three, it's kind of just, I'm gonna show this one off. I don't need it for this, but I'm just gonna show it off. If I go to your stuff, which is my stuff, I have the ability to see all my files from Creative Cloud and my brands and libraries. All my CC libraries are here as a Creative Cloud user. And any one of these libraries can be converted into a brand. And once you convert it into a brand, you can set that brand to your content. So in other words, if you created a brand, which I did, I created my TW brand, it's got my logo, it's got my colors, it's got my fonts, it's got any graphics and any character styles. So if I apply this brand to this flyer, it will convert the text to my favorite fonts, it will add my logo, it will do anything, and change the colors to my colors or give me the ability to use my colors and my fonts. And if I just wanna use individual elements like the logo, I just click the logo, it pops it onto the page, renders it, and again, I can scale it down, move it anywhere that I want it to be, and we'll go ahead and pop that in on the side there, and we'll just lower the opacity of it because you know we don't really need that to stand out that much, but we now have my logo ghosted in the background. All right, so number three, brands from libraries. Number four is the big one. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is the one I really love, and that is the brand new resize experience. So I need this as the flyer. We are pretty much done with it as a flyer, but I also need an Instagram reel, a TikTok, and everything else. So if I were to go in and click resize, I get the ability to check off all the things I need. So if I need a tick, an Instagram reel, I need a TikTok, I need a Facebook post, I need um, a YouTube video, whatever I need, I can check off all of those. And for how many ever I check off, that's how many versions of this it will make in all the right sizes. So notice it's, it's making the sizes that I need without me having to think about it. Now, technically, I only need the Instagram reel, so I'm gonna uncheck the rest. But there are all the various social media sizes are here, and I love, love, love this resize experience. And because I set my page as the background, when I hit the duplicate and resize button, that will go ahead and make my page automatically fit the new size and automatically adjust my content accordingly. So there's my flyer and there's my Instagram reel slash TikTok. All right, so now an Instagram reel or TikTok is actually video, so something that moves. And that brings me to number five. We have the ability now to create animations, which we did before, but now the animations can be on every single element on the page. Before you were limited to just animating one thing, whether it was your text or your image, you could only animate one. Now you can animate an in, a repeat, and an out for each individual element. So for example, if I wanted this to be a grow, I can set that to be a grow, and that will do a grow. If I wanted beach party to um, animate, let's go to beach party, animation, and we'll animate that one in, and we will maybe uh, drift that one in from the other side that way and we can make that take as long as we need to take that took a, a good two seconds there we go drifting that in and we can make that speed that up a little bit so it doesn't take quite as long there we go and again if i want to animate the ice cream cone i can animate the ice cream cone as well so you're not limited to just your text you can animate your graphics and we can make that one grow there we go all right so now we have basically created this animation for a flyer. Now they all animate at the same time. And you notice there's a timeline button here that lets you get in and control each individual element any way you want. So if I click timeline, I get to the timeline and as I click on each individual element, I can have those, I can set those to come in at different times. So I can say, well, the beach party comes in a little bit later. Fourth comes in first. The ice cream cone comes in a little bit later after all of those. So I can have, I can really, really get in and customize this video the way that I want. And just like that, they all come in at the different ways. So this could be a video that's ready to go, but I think we can spruce it up a little bit more because in the video editor inside Adobe Express, the new Adobe Express, each scene is like its own little individual timeline. So if I add a new scene, I can add a new scene and then I can put whatever I want in that scene and that will just play next. So for example, if I go here and go text, maybe I wanna set a background color so I can set maybe a nice pastel beach type of color and then we can go ahead and add some text. We'll add some text 
come to the beach and we'll put party on the next line. All right, so come to the beach party. All right, now we can leave that the way it is. We can change the font. We can use our fonts from our brand. We can, what I would wanna do is first of all, set this to dynamic because I like the dynamic effect because it does cool things like that when you resize it. it automatically keeps everything nice and justified. All right, cool. Um, I kinda like that one better. Next thing I wanna do is I wanna actually change the, the color to maybe something else. Let's go to color. And again, I can get colors from my brand or I get colors from um, anything else. So that's from my actual brand, great. Now that I got that in there, eh, it's okay. We could do that before. Let's take it up a notch. Let's go into our, uh, let's go back to our text and you notice we have text effects. And these are the same text effects from Adobe Firefly. So I could do, my text effect is going to be disco balls and flashing lights. There we go, generate. And like magic, I've now converted this to disco balls with flashing lights. You got it. So we, we, we have our beach party ready to go. Let's really take it up a notch. We did animation, we did text, but a video is really a video. Let's get into video, which is new in Adobe Express. All right, so let's go ahead and click add another scene. This time I'm actually gonna add an actual video. So let's go into uh, media. Before we just had photos, now we have video and even audio. So whether you're doing uh, audio, uploading your own for the whole thing, or video, any videos you wanna upload, or if you don't have a video, you can go ahead and search Adobe Stock for free videos to use in your content. That's right, you have access to all of these to use. I kinda like this guy, he's grooving out, he's dancing, but I wanna make it shorter. So I'm just gonna have him dance for maybe like a little bit, like three seconds, so we can make that shorter. Now, I don't like the order of any of this. I don't like the way any of this is happening. So what I really want is I want the guy dancing before the flyer, I want the announcement before the flyer. So just like that, I'm able to rearrange the order of the scenes. So I've got my, oh, wait, 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 we can't have that be static. Let's go there and let's animate that in and let's animate that in and we will make that do a grow. There we go. Now let's play that again. There we go, come to the beach party. That's too long, it's staying on the screen too long so I can go ahead and resize that down a bit. Maybe three seconds, there we go. And now here we go, come to the beach party. One, two, three, guy dancing for a few seconds, and then our animation of that. So we added the ability to create real videos. And if I want an audio track playing under the whole thing, I can add my audio track playing under the whole thing. That's number six. What's number seven? Number seven, real-time collaboration. We're not gonna do it for this one, because I don't have a collaborator standing by, but if you want it, if you wanted someone else to not only see this, but to be able to work on it, you can invite the, those people to actually be able to work on this in real time with you. That's right, so if you're designing content and you need some help, you can have that person help you and move things around and change the dates and do whatever they need to do in real time. All right, so that's number seven, real time collaboration. Number eight, and this is a fun one. This is brand new to Adobe Express. I'm gonna pop out of this design for a second and I'm gonna go over to recommend it. And under recommend it, under the, where I see all the quick actions, there's a new quick action called animate from audio. That's right. It reminds me of our character animator in our video suite. So with animate from audio, you pick your character and then you go in and either record the voice for that character or even upload an audio file of the voice that's already been recorded. And your character will speak and mouth those words. It will lip sync and everything to what you said. Now, rather than take the time to do it now, I've already got one cooked and ready to go. So let's go ahead and go back to our design. Let's go back out to the scenes and let's go ahead and add one more scene. And this time we're gonna upload a video from my device and that video is going to be Gareth, which is one of the characters, speaking in my voice. There's Gareth, ready to go, talk about the party, and we're gonna move Gareth over to the second thing in the scene. So now my 17 second Instagram reel is ready to go. Here we go, let's hit play. 
What's up, everybody? We're having a beach party. You're invited. Can't wait to see you there. So with that said, I can now download or share any of this content. I can even schedule it in the scheduler. I can download the flyer, download the video, download them both together and share them any way that I want. Cheers, everyone. Oh, wait, you're probably saying, well, Terry, that was only eight. You said nine. What's nine? What's the ninth thing? Number nine is it's free. That's right. You can head over to adobe.com slash express and try this all out for free. Just click on the free beta and just log in with your Adobe ID and do everything I just did. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.